everyone. When it comes to injection, one requires to control the amount of the product injected. Today, I would like you to tell you about an injection control device named G-Timer. For demonstration purposes and to avoid extra noise in the video, I'm going to show the principles of G-Timer functioning by simulating the process of injection. G-Timer set consists of G-Timer programming box to be plugged directly to a standard 230V socket, a special gun configuration with a sensor and air cylinder for remote air operation, and a solenoid valve connected to air supply for manipulation with a gun. The gun also should be adapted for injection purposes. In case of any air purge gun, like this Master 3, it is enough to install on the nozzle of the mixing chamber a special pouring adapter with a flexible disposable tube that can be easily replaced after several injections. Let's consider a simple example. Let's imagine that this bottle is the cavity that we are going to fill with foam. Once everything is prepared, we should plug the G-Timer into 220V socket, switch it on. Next, we should connect this cable both to the gun and to the G-Timer box. Okay. Next step is to connect the rear sensor of the gun. To mount the rear sensor of the gun inside of the handle of the gun, we should press the trigger to find the best position and insert it until there is no movement. Then we have to fix it with two nuts and connect and fix it on the sensor. Next step is to connect the other end of the gun sensor cable into a corresponding plug of the G-Timer programming box and fix it this way. Uh, next step is to connect the solenoid valve to the gun. To do so, we need the three plastic air tubes that are marked with different colors that correspond to the color on the pneumatic cylinder. So the green tube goes to the green knee, the yellow one goes to the yellow knee and the red one goes to the red knee. What are these knees are meant for? This one uh, is used for an air purge of the gun. The yellow one is used for moving the pneumatic cylinder piston backwards and the red one is used to move the pneumatic cylinder piston forward. To finish the mounting of all the cables on the G-Timer we have to connect the sensor of the solenoid valve to the corresponding plug on the G-Timer and fix it like this. Finally, we have to connect the solenoid valve to the compressed air to be able to operate the gun.